everybody got a very special unboxing video for you today it's my new purchase from Adrian at Chiro's Knives now the unboxing footage itself is a bit ropey so I filmed an extra sequence okay so here's the package as you can see it's pretty large and it's also very well taped up so what I'm going to do is take this off camera get the outside wrapping off which could take a while and then we'll come back with just the inner layers and the uh, the big reveal so catch you in a moment right we're back I was right about the packaging pretty much like armor plating what I got in there in the end let's see what have we got in here Certificate of Authenticity, knife number 101, RDWL 34 steel, 5.2mm thick, Ivory Micarta, a model, MIJ16, and it's 62.9 Rockwell. It's going to be a bugger to sharpen, but then it's hardly likely to get blunt at 62.9. Date of completion 12th of June. So, excellent. So what does the MIJ16 look like? This is very exciting, this. Very exciting indeed. And here we have it. I don't think this is all going to fit on uh, under the camera. So we'll start from the pointy end. Extra stitching on the sheath because it's a big heavy knife. Matching fire steel. Ivory my Carter over red liners. Are we in focus? So we've got the fire steel on the shock cord. Three brass pins, brass tube for the shock cord. Red liner detail there. And as usual, the fire steel loop isn't an extra piece stitched in, it's part of the main piece of leather. So here we go, big big knife. This is a snug fit. Very snug fit. Now, look at that. Satin finish on the flats, mirror polish on the bevel. Lovely long, I think it's just under seven inches the blade. I think, if you look at the handle, these two are Corby bolts and the others are pins I think and we've got the red liners I did originally want green liners but um, when the green liner material arrived it wasn't um, Adrian said it wasn't the right sort of green and the quality wasn't very good so we went with red instead now something we need to talk about just to get it dealt with and out of the way there is a flaw in this knife which Adrian was absolutely gutted about need to mention it now for a few reasons first of all if I don't mention it straight away some bugger else will pick up on it and make it into a big thing and what it is on one of the holes the Makata scorched when it was being drilled out so there's just a little dark line around that Corby bolt which is unfortunate now so slight quality flaw won't affect the usage won't really notice it 
forget looking for it once you stop talking about it. But the other reason why I wanted to mention it is to talk about how Adrian dealt with it. He sent me a message and a picture explaining what had happened. And he gave me three options about how we could deal with it. The first one, he said he would completely rebuild the knife from scratch the next time he made a batch. Or he would sell me the knife as it is, but just for the price, the amount of the deposit that I'd already paid. Or he said that I could pick any other knife that he's got ready for sale as an alternative. Now in my mind, that's a pretty damn good way of dealing with things. Um, there have been knife makers here and there who would have just shipped the knife knowing there was a minor cosmetic issue, not said anything and just hope nobody notices. But Adrian doesn't work like that. He's a proper top bloke. So just have a look at this. What I like about this design, it's a bit bigger than the Moorlander. You've got this nice, gen very gentle curve along the spine, contrasting well with a very straight bottom edge. But then the handle has a, quite a pronounced drop at the back. And I think that's a lovely line, a lovely shape. It's very comfortable in the hand. It's a heavy, heavy knife. Try the edge. And as you might imagine, no problem there. Let's see if I can just grab some phone book paper. So 5.2 millimetre thick. We've got the phone book paper. Push cut. Oh. Clumsy. There we go. That's lovely. So I'll do um, a proper review once I've had time to play with it. But I just wanted to show you my new purchase. Absolute stunner. Very, very happy with that indeed. Got a nice sheath. Be careful not to. slice the leather there we go that sits in there lovely so a fabulous gyros knives blade very happy with that indeed hope you like it and thanks for watching okay so let's see if we can give you a better look at the MIJ-16 leather pouch sheath double row stitching extra third layer there fire steel loop is in a single piece with the body it's not a, a cut off piece that's been added in two lots of stitching on the belt loop so you can carry it there or there if you want it to ride higher on the hip fire steel matches the knife handle with the ivory linen micarta and the red liner for detail The lanyard is um, one I've added, it didn't come with this, but I do like a thumb loop lanyard on larger knives. And here we have it. So with the mirror polished bevel <coughs> and the satin, very fine satin finish on the flats, it does pick up 
fingerprints very easily. But it's a lovely big knife. 5.2 millimeters thick, RWL34. So for size comparison, um, the Morlander, and when I bought the Morlander, I did think this was the last fixed blade knife I'd ever need. And then Adrian went and designed this. So as you can see, and this is a big chunky knife, but the new one is a different beast altogether. If we just bring in the book 119 for size comparison, as you can see with the Morlander, it's roughly the same sort of overall size. But then when we step up to the MIJ16, we're leaving the book behind I was a little clumsy doing the paper cutting or giddy so we'll redo that we've got some foam book paper smooth as you like So, there we have a first look at my new purchase from Adrian, Chiro's Knives. An absolutely fabulous big knife. Quite a snug fit in the sheet on this one. With the Morlander and his usual sheaths, Fits nice and snug, but it's not formed very close around the handle. So obviously it's a deep pouch sheath, and it just gets a good grip anyway. But this one is formed a bit closer to the handle. So it does make it, while the leather's new and stiff, it does give a fair old grip to the handle. That will soften up a little bit over time. But there we have it, lovely, lovely knife.